Matt. Uh, I'm here going to talk to you a little bit about retail. Uh, this is a, we're in Old Town again, and your establishment is Arizona Olive Oil. Yes, Arizona Olive Oil Company. We've been here for about a year now. Okay. Um, we have salts now, spices. Um, we're an olive oil company, so we do have olive oil, quite a few different options of that. And then we also carry balsamic vinegar, specialty products like barbecue sauces and honey creams and jams and salsas and you name it. We have a lot of different stuff here. So you can come and try things. We have sam samples of stuffed olives and salts and uh, olive oil. So you can come and, and just have a good time. And One of the important things about retail is that you give the customer an experience. And when they come in here, what is that experience? Well, it's, it's a taste experience, it's a smelling experience, it's a, just an all around good experience. People that come in here have a really good time. Those that like our product try you know, 10, 12 different products. They, uh, we have bread to sample with it. So people just, just have a good time. I mean, food puts people in a good mood. It so. always does. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab my camera here. I'd like to just walk around here if you could uh, show me a couple things. Sure. We have products that actually go inside of the oils. Um, so we have like dipping blends, which are super nice. A lot of people love them. Like your Italian dipping blend. We have a garlic rosemary, Parmesan one. Basically people like having that stuff inside their oil and love dipping bread with it. When you think of olive oil, that's probably the experience that most people have had with olive oil that aren't big chefs or don't cook a lot. Um, but the other thing that's nice is I do a lot of grilling uh, myself. So I'll do a lot of marinades with them. I'll brush them on when I'm grilling. What, what brought you to Mankato with your store? Sure, so I went to college here, um, opened a different business here, a video business. And when my wife and I, we moved to Arizona um, in 2010, and when it was time to move back to Minnesota, uh, imagine that, right? Yep. Back to the snow. Um, we decided to uh, open one of our favorite stores in Arizona, which was a store kind of like this that sold olive oil and balsamic, and uh, kind of bring that to Mankato. And we opened in the River Hills Mall in a kiosk um, just over the holidays to kind of see how it would go. And then once we found out about this location, we kind of tried to jump on it. and. got to try some of our balsamic vinegar and we can do that actually. Um, I'll let you try. This is our garlic cilantro balsamic vinegar. So, so one what, of our... What, make, what makes a good balsamic vinegar? So age process. So it's almost like a wine. So being aged uh, kind of brings out some of the sweetness in it. Um, and then it's also going to taste less vinegary, like all that uh, sour taste. Mm, yeah. So what was it that brought you back? Well, uh, there was a number of things. Um, big thing was, you know, going to college here, you have a lot of people that end up staying in this community, uh, working in this community, building businesses in this community. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really great city because it's like kind of the small town that grew up. It's got enough of stuff that's fun to do, but yet it's not the Twin Cities or the big traffic uh, cities. So it still has that small town feel the connection with people, but yet it's not, it's not too big. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of have the intimacy in this town, uh, which is cool. And you have a lot of small towns, a lot of, um, you know, farmers and, and, you know, people from the smaller towns that come into Mankato for shopping. So we get to meet them and it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, they're great people. Olive oils were made to pair with balsamic vinegars. That's why you see olive oil and vinegar in the same store. Um, so they play off each other a lot with the sweetness and the, the savory flavors. What would you say to somebody who might be interested in moving to Old Town with a business mm -hmm. or starting a business here, but they're not quite sure? I would say um, go for it. I think the statistics on this on downtown here in the next five years, it's gonna be awesome down here. So I'd say get on board now uh, while you can. 
and while the probably um, you may find a deal still on some some parts of the blocks um, but everything's going to fill up so if you find a spot on a block that you're like oh it'd be nicer to be on this block or that block don't worry because your block's probably gonna be the next cool block down here so, <laughs> things, so say, things are happening it. that fast <laughs> i'd say so yeah I, I think i think when the next few years here once things start happening that are in motion right now um it's going to be awesome i mean it's going to be the spot to be in mankato Probably one of our top sellers, and I'll let you try this one, is our Parmesan Rosemary Garlic Olive Oil. This one is really good for like chicken and fish and popcorn, mashed potatoes. Or in Minnesota, I mean, meat and potatoes, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. So That would pair well. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what dinner. type of customer base do you have coming in? Here are they are they just locals are they out of towners? Um, we get people coming through town that shopped in the cities and they wanted to stop at us on their way back to Iowa and we get a lot of uh, south uh, southeastern Minnesota like the Wells and um, even over to Owatonna Rochester coming over this way. Um, there's groups of people that don't like shopping in other parts of town. They like being in a unique old town, small business environment. So that's what we offer down here that you might not get other parts of town. It's kind of a town that you get a lot of people um, doing, you know, that are in town for uh, maybe a, an event or in town for a meeting. Um, so you get people from all over um, Southern Minnesota, um, even people down from the cities for an event, uh, going to one of our um, fine events in town. So it's kind of fun, you know, you get to see people from all over the place and we have some of the best product in the world. So why wouldn't they want to come? So. <laughs> Absolutely.